malugo Aba to be a quite a go see be a fra bukayo be a fran na ma origino on your bona malugo Aba to be a quite a go see be a fran na we own White to white to white to the radio station with more. You're listening to the radio station. You're listening to no, no, no. You're listening to this is Radio Pia Radio Pia. Yes, once again, fellow Bia France lovers of freedom, men and women of goodwill, conscious people wherever you are all over the world. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra, and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London. Radio Biafra London is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. His name is Maze Uchi Okafo Mefo. He is from Abatete. Abatete is in Anambra State, and Anambra State is Biafra land. Mazuchu Kafomefo is the man who has simply assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. He is standing in a deputizing capacity on behalf of our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandi Okukano. He is the king of Afali Beku. Afali Beku is in Omoahia. Omoahia is in Abia State. Abia State is Biafra land. He is the director of Radio Biafra as well as Biafra Television. And by the special grace of Chukukika Biama, 
He remains the one and the only man who stood up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people for almost 60 years. Of course, by the grace of Chuku Kikabiam, I remain George Onyibe. I come from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. As always, we continue to acknowledge the Creator for giving us this opportunity to communicate to our people in a language they will understand. And believe me, enough time has been spent, but it is the, if the job is not done, it is not done. And so I must move ahead to acknowledge him, he Chukwu Kika Biyama, who had the final say in every matter. In my humble way this morning, I say to him, Anye na jage mau, nihi na emara mau, inho na nya ine na ge, ubi o mage, o juru anya nya daji o, ingwe e gimba ngwe o, o di go nye e de kage, Ebu wafa no mega. Anye ni ne na sena. Ne de mao. Isi. Isi. And this morning, as always, we will move ahead to our topic, which is simply titled Keeping Quiet in the Feast of Injustice Makes You an Accomplice. Keeping quiet in the face of injustice makes you an accomplice. I want to take our mind back to two issues first of all. And of course, we address Biafrans in particular, but the world in general. Because those who are able to read the signs on the wall, the handwriting on the wall, will actually be able to decide where this journey will end. From where I come from, they will say, call you new kune, call you nienta. And then maybe, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Every ordeal, every experience, encounter we have had as a people, I mean the people of Biafra, we could actually be able to identify with the suffering of the black across the globe. But believe me, there is hope. But this morning, I want to draw attention to those who had the privilege, the right, the opportunity to speak up in the face of injustice and the fail to. As far as the history of the world can be told, as far as men and women has walked this path before we came, they had always come forth raising their voice as a witness or a testimony against the people or institution. This is exactly what we are doing here. That one day after we are long gone, men and women who will walk the earth at that time will see either in favor of the world for having respond to our cry or against the world for not have taken the time, the staking pain to look into our circumstance. But believe me, whatever the case may be, we stand put. And we are not going anywhere. Right from childhood, I will have watched the picture or the video of black men confronting the police, depending on the location. Most especially the police that are not blacks. I'm not talking about black chimpanzee police. They are not my concern because they take Ibu, you give them Kai Kai, and they can't do anything. And so their behavior is individually different. You see another policeman is a good man. You see another black policeman is a disciplined man. You see another black policeman is a cultured man. And then you see another black policeman is a Fulani headsman, Miati Allah, or Boko Haram. And then I will not stand to condemn all of them this morning, honestly. But they are not my focus this morning. But I'm talking about the European, the Americans, the Chinese the white people police. I want you to go and sample the video of them having confrontation or in a position to arrest a black man. I want you to look at the video online, try to psychologically read a white man, a Chinese man, a, a, a color, this Yibo, you know what they call themselves, so many. Try and read them psychologically when they appear before a black man or a black woman. 
you see fear engulf them. You see them, they are afraid. They are so much afraid. An American police is ready to shoot a black man who is on a wheelchair, even who is defenseless. They will shoot a woman who is nine months pregnant. As far as she's a black woman, they will beat her up. I'm not talking about what they do now, but I'm talking about the psychological effect the appearance of a black man brings on the white man. We are observing, we are reading. But this kind of dramatic response or behavior could only come from one thing. And that is you fear the black man. Your fear of the black man will undo all of you. But of course, the black men are not responsible or awakening to their responsibility, according to Amado Bello. And so for a while, they behave very hopelessly, they behave very foolishly, and we have been lamenting, as far as I can remember. I just ask you to go and observe it. What are they afraid of? Is it the muscular power? But we are not savages. We are the most emotional people on earth. When we say we love you, truly we love you. And when we say we hate you, we hate you. We do not pretend to love you, whereas our heart is full of evil. In fact, our heart is worse than pit toilet. Or you think you're white and then everything you do is right? No. I could confidently, categorically tell you that God is a black man. It's just a matter of time. But why am I bringing this up? There are conscience, people of conscience who are white, people of conscience who are blue, people of conscience who are yellow, green, purple, black, brown, depending on your color. They know the truth. They too are maybe as much confused as we are. They just don't know how to fix it. They actually know that something is wrong. And so the good, conscious, Caucasian man the good conscious British man, the good conscious Chinese man, the good conscious Arabian man, understand that these things is uncalled for. It is evil and it should be seen as such. And that is on the global scene. But believe me, that which you fear will come upon you. For in the end, black will rise. For in the end, Biafra will be restored because kingdom rise and kingdom fall. This is exactly the same position we have found ourselves as Biafran in Nigeria. When it comes to any issue regarding us, the way we are being handled, the way we are being treated, the way we are being oppressed, look at the people who are doing this thing to us. You will see the fear, the fear of the unknown. They just don't want us to come up. The same way the American man is afraid of the black man. The Indian man is afraid of the black man. The Chinese man is afraid of the black man. The British man is afraid of the black man. The German man is afraid of the black man. The French man is afraid of the black man. The Portuguese man is afraid of the black man. The black man has been murdered. Her wife raped. Her children kidnapped. But yet, after over 500 years, you are still afraid. This is one truth that will destroy all of you as it will destroy Nigeria. Once you call Igbo man or you mention Biafra, there is this fear in the face of Yoruba man. There is this fear in the face of Aosa man. There is this fear in the face of Sabotoa. There is this fear in the face of one Nigerianist. We are very weak and oppressed people. And now you have given us reason to begin to ask questions. And now we are asking questions and we are getting the answers. What are you afraid of? This morning I say to you, empty your fears. We mean you no harm. Not today, not tomorrow, not in the next world to come. But believe me, for every evil that I have done to us as a people, there will be a day of recompensation. But understand, we mean you no harm. And so this morning, in the face of this injustice, you fail to speak up. You are part of the problem. 
our leader in his last broadcast spent time trying to accuse the black for the lot of just floyd and of course which i believe everybody understood you kill a black man in india nobody talks about it you kill a black man in south africa nobody talks about it in fact in the past three days over 500 nigerians supposedly hopeless citizens have been murdered by fulani headsmen Meati Allah. And then what gives us the moral right to cry out against the injustice meted on George Floyd? And now, by the time at this point in time you want to tell the world that you are organized, and then Nigerians, shameless Nigerians, shameless black Africans are moving ahead to protest Black Lives Matter. What a shame. What a shame. Because right at your doorstep, you are killing more black than you can imagine. You are killing pure breed black. You are killing on, on, on neutralized with chemical black. You are killing blacks of the black in the land of the black by the black. And you are protesting what is happening over there in America. Brother, wake up. The truth remains that today we all witness a lot of horrific event happening before our very eyes and nothing is being done about it horrific event i didn't sleep last night though it is not in our culture to sleep because we have made a vow with the heaven never to give sleep to our eye until biafra is restored because we cannot afford to sleep under the same heaven with those who killed our father raped our mothers murdered our children and continually keep us in perpetuity in poverty in shame in disgrace we cannot sleep under the same heaven with them how i wish they understand what is coming but tonight my heart was grieved it is not because it's the first rape case we have had but it is because people are silent I'm going to take time to listen to all the news coming from the zoo media. And I'm going to see what their response will be regarding the young, supposedly Soka Enugu girl who were raped randomly by Fulani headsmen. By Fulanis. Maybe there are also there because it's very, almost very difficult to see a Fulani committing evil without Awosa man there. But will Awosa wake up and separate themselves from these hypocrites. Separate themselves from these terrorists. Because it will not always be like this. Our leader have made frankly effort to make you see what is coming. You have a choice to make. That is why we are here. We took a lot of our people still try to keep talking to Yoruba. Maybe they will have sense. Don't worry. You will understand that a day will come. All of us will answer our father's name. And that day is almost upon us. And we will tell you we did do our job. Our job, first of all, is to shout. This is the days of John the Baptist. We are the voice crying in the wilderness. And so that those who have ear may hear. And those who do not have ear, may the Lord be with them. We have seen this horrific act all around us. Happening before our eyes. Whatever this horrific horrific event ah you will see that people who are supposed to speak up have failed to done that i keep wondering they kill biafras no governor will speak up no monarch will speak up nobody will say anything they make phone call and ask themselves, I'm talking about Biafran governors, politicians, monarch, intellectuals, opinion moder, and you know what? Clergymen. And some people who are even freedom fighters are part of this evil. And they say nothing. They make phone call. Uh, my brother, he said, Excellency, did you see what happened to that Enugu girl? How did you see it? And then he replied, he said, my brother, uh, we need to see how we can handle it diplomatically. Oh, because it's not your daughter. So it can be handled diplomatically. Nigerians in recent days have been lamenting over rape. 
everywhere rape. People are protesting. Do something about rape. But we know how they function. They have started their job. But they are going to use the Nigerian media to change the narratives so that you think that it is a brother and sister that is raping. Do you know Anambra State published that about 35% of Anambra father raped their daughter during the lockdown of COVID-19? And I saw it and I was shocked to my marrow. Do you mean Anambra people have become this useless? Do you mean nobody could come and issue press communicate to counter this thing? Are you telling me Anambra have so much missed blood that 35% of Anambra father will sleep with their daughter? But of course you don't know where they are coming from. And you will be the one to join them and say, ah, our people are evil. In the banyi danger, konye gwaki na wabonde bono. It is trending. We have to kill the uh, rapists. We have to kill because this is the next war coming for you. If you don't rise up now and be at alert, they will rape many of our sisters. And most of them will not talk. They are going to bring a lot of idiot and mix up with the remaining one we have already. It is our duty to protect our women. It is our duty to protect our women. We have lost a sense of community. That is why every time I say, go and go back to your root. Some people think it's a god more. they deceiving themselves. I remember as a child growing up in a community. We monitor you. We monitor every grown-up girl. When you are going to farm, we escort you. When we are coming, we escort you. You are going to the river, we escort you. This is to make sure that none of our brother, whether they love you or they don't love you, do not take advantage of you. Today, is he still there? Do we still have this sense of community? I won't digress further. They may call, they call themselves and say, ah, how do we do it? We handle it diplomatically. They make sure we don't have seaport. Nobody is picking up in Biafra land. They are handling it diplomatically, 53 years on. They make sure we don't have international airport. Nobody is picking up against this evil. But they are engaging the Nigerian terrorist state diplomatically. They demolish OD. You are addressing the issue diplomatically. Asaba massacre and the uh, 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 war criminals regarding the genocide between 1967 to 1970 is still being discussed diplomatically. The proscription of IPOB is still being diplomatically. When heinous crime is committed in the house of God, they, they discuss it religiously, diplomatic religiously. But it, it, it boils down that we are the ones suffering. We have witnessed it. And that makes us to begin to ask questions. What exactly is wrong? Why are you keeping quiet? When are we going to have a governor, a local government chairman, a senator, a House of Rep member? When are we going to have a chairman? When are we going to have Igwe? When are we going to have clergymen? When are we going to have NGO, leaders of thought, opinion moder? When are we going to have these people standing up and speaking up like our leader? You have even spent more of your time fighting Mazen and the Kano. And you have forgotten about the problem. Your keeping quiet shows that you are part of that problem. Whenever any of these horrific event happens, those who are supposedly meant to speak, they don't. We are all aware that no part of Nigeria has suffered a great deal of injustice like any other part of Nigeria. Of course, Biafra land. No part of Nigeria have suffered what Biafras have suffered in Nigeria. Are we talking about sabotage? If you know how many saboteurs that are hiding inside IPUB, it will amaze you. We will expose them at the right time. I, George Onibe, will expose them at the right time. And I swear to you, you cannot kill me. When I'm talking to you, you know I'm talking to you. You cannot kill me. When we tell Nigerians we are seven steps ahead of them, it include every enemy of Biafra. It doesn't matter how white you look. It doesn't matter how black you look. 
if you fail to stand up for injustice, if you fail to speak up for injustice, we will expose you. And all those who have seen your glory and honor, all those who have believed you, they will abandon you. We will show you what you have not heard of. That only in righteousness will a nation prevail. Only in righteousness will a throne be established. Only in righteousness can your voice echo through the wilderness. That then, then generation will hear your voice and it will be alive as if you are still there. You cannot hide it for God. We have suffered sabotage more than any other race in Nigeria. To get IPOB, you need some of those idiots running up and down. To get Igbo man, you need some idiot Igbo running up and down. To get Abo man, you need some Abo idiot running up and down. Some idiot idiot, some Akwaibo idiot. Total Biafran idiot running up and down. We have suffered more sabotage. Some of them with clear good intention. Some of them with bad intention. But none of them can be justified. Nobody spoke up about it. But sometimes when we speak, we speak diplomatically. We are all aware that we have suffered more deprivation in Nigeria. No Igbo man have betrayed the Yoruba man. No Igbo man in record have betrayed our salmon. No Igbo man in record have betrayed a Fulani man. In as much as I don't want to talk about Niger Delta. Because it's an Igbo man, whether I like it or not. You can be yapping for a time. I only look forward to the day where all of us will be dragging who is Igbo man. Nobody has been betrayed, deprived, as much as we have been. They make sure we don't get anything. No Yoruba has spoken up and said no. Why are we doing this? Do you know you have over 21 million Igbos in Lagos? Do you know you have over 30 million Igbos in Kano? We are not talking about Kaduna. We are not talking about Abuja. And somebody is telling me, hey, we have population more than that. We have population. Igbo don't have population. Hey, Yoruba have population. You have deprived us of so much we have been disenfranchised we have been deprived we have been sabotaged we have been emasculated politically academically socially religiously and otherwise what we as a people of biafra have suffered in nigeria no other part of nigeria has suffered it and every day I weep because no other part of Nigeria is standing up to speak in our favor or even care whether we exist or not. I will not blame you when you cast a uh, uh, shot down, down, attack them. I don't blame you. But sometimes we need to deny ourselves. When will a Yoruba man stand up like Mazen and and say, no, this thing is enough. I'm a beer friend. IPOB didn't make me a Biafra. Your father did not make me a Biafra. Your mother did not make me a Biafra. My parents did not make me. God made me. Don't you get it? How long are we going to remain this way? When exactly will another Awosa man come out and say, this thing is true. If I have to die, let me die. When will a fool any man do that? But let me tell you what you are not seeing. That day, the Yoruba man. That day, the Hausa man. That day, the Fulani man. That day, the saboteurs undermine the sovereignty of any individual, the sovereignty of any state, the sovereignty of anything that has sovereignty. That day, you kill everybody. That day, you kill everybody. The day you support injustice, you will empower injustice on that very day. But they are not my concern. My concern is simple. Why are Biafrans not speaking up? Where are the likes of Abisho Desmond Tutu? Who will be willing to go to prison side by side with our leader? Oh, you want to go to heaven? 
We are there waiting for all of you already, both in heaven and on earth. You had the privilege to do good. Once in a lifetime, and generation after generation will remind by you. When will a governor stand up and say no? Let there be constitutional reform. I'm not saying let there be Biafra now because Biafra must come in the end. But this is just a message to Biafra politician, intellectual, all of you who are in the position to speak up and you are not speaking up. Remember God say, if men fail to preach the gospel, he will raise up stone. Stones are being raised on your behalf. Look at ordinary George Unibe, a, 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 a shoemaker, a carpenter, original Uguaja, ordinary George Unibe. I'm now talking to you. You should be ashamed of yourself. I thought you are intellectual. I thought you are PhD. I thought you are Alpha and Omega. Look at people who are not even up to your gate, man. They are not talking to you. But you don't know what is coming for you. These are your glorified days. The Yoruba understand the need why they should protect themselves. They rally round and then they set up a motorcycle. But the Awosans, as I can assure you, owns the, the Fulani Rada owns the terrorists that is ravaging everywhere. But be a from politician. You are still speaking grammar. You are still writing history. You are still trying to find out how you are going to set up security. It has become issue to discuss. Item 7 on every agenda. Yes, Hane uh, Zendibo move, move to uh, introduce uh, community policing. But this is a lie. You have been issuing press communique as far as we can remember. Yes, Pandev, we want to introduce uh, security policing. But these are all lies. It starts from the faces of the newspaper and it will end there. Nothing is being done. Without IPOB, our people would have been overrun. And I give it to them this morning. When we get angry at certain issue, it is not because we are owing anybody. We are not owing anybody and nobody is owing us. But believe me, if you murder humanity, you will see the monster behind humanity. I just ask you, all of you parading your private jet, I'm just talking to you, all of you with your full any bodyguard, I'm talking to Biafrans, those of you who think you are Igwe, you people will initiate the state of anarchy. And I will assure you that after that, Nigeria will burn. Yoruba land will burn. Hawosa land will burn. Biafra land will burn. Fulani don't have land. They will run. But the good news is that from these ashes, a new nation will emerge. Every part of the world who has put off this evil enclave called Nigeria, they will receive their own share. Because with time, we will give you suicide bomber if this is what will make you listen. We are ready to sacrifice anything. We do not back down in fear. Nobody terrorize us. Nobody intimidate us. Not our kind of breed. There are people you do that to. Not our kind of breed. If you fail to speak off as a Biafran, you see the rape going on. You see the killing going on. You see the incarceration going on. You see the injustice going on. You decide to romance with it one way or the other. Or you decide to remain moot. Because maybe, maybe somehow, you feel that, uh, uh, they, well, we're going to keep IPOB down. Uh, they, 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 they will soon go, just like other people. Uh, don't worry, uh, just leave them. They are jobless and uh, then you speak grammar. My brother, this is the time you need to ask yourself questions. Because a day of reckoning will come. The day of reckoning certainly is going to come. And everybody must answer to it. Nobody has suffered more like we have suffered. The issue has always been, why is it that nobody, nobody is speaking up? Why? Why? Can we please ask the religious leader, the politicians, or the opinion moda, can you please ask them? They are your friends. Ask them. 
Why are they not speaking up? It makes them part of the problem we are facing. You are an accomplice if you see evil and you do not speak up. Speaking up does not mean that you are going to speak like us. Speaking us could mean a gentle word and say, let Biafra go. Speaking up could be writing petition, encouraging Nigeria, because our fate has been decided already. And though it is the fate of Nigeria, and there is nothing anybody can do about it, Nigeria must divide. Stop struggling. You have stolen enough. Stop stealing. You have killed enough. Stop killing. You have marginalized enough. Stop it for British government. Let them come and do it themselves. We are still human. And we know you are black. Biafrans are the mother nature itself. Biafra is the soul of Africa. We don't want to kill you. Does not mean we cannot kill you. Yoruba, we see you as a black man. We see you as a black man. When I come and attack the whole Yoruba, people don't understand why I do that. My neighbor in the compound, where my family stays at this moment, of course you don't know that. All of them are Yoruba people. They are hungry. In fact, as of yesterday, my, my, my wife bought a, a short necker and a shirt and gave to one of uh, the, 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 the Yoruba child. And they were happy. They called me. Our hatred is not for the black or for anybody. Your being accomplished of this problem will make us not to forgive you. I, as a person, I don't give a hoot. Some people say, no, you can't condemn a whole generation because of one person. I understand. That is why when you are like Tinubu and you are hopeless, we tell you you are. But sometimes they need to feel the pain, what they did to us. The Holy Bull race was condemned because of one man. As far as I'm concerned, I have never seen myself as Igbo man because I was properly re-indoctrinated by a Nigerian fato. Even as Onyam Achukwe Mecca, Onyi Bewa Johnny Wan Mobogon, I'm not an Igbo man. And so I have never suffered the stigma, but I carry the weight and the burden in my heart. And as a child, I continually cry. Robbery in Nigeria, Igbo man. Kidnapping in Nigeria, Igbo man. Prostitution in Nigeria, Igbo man. Terrorists in Nigeria, Igbo man. 419 in Nigeria, Igbo man. Because nobody was speaking up. And now we are here, no Igbo kidnapper again. Why is a vast issue not trending? Because Yoruba with the media condemned the whole generation of Igbo. Today I'm happy they are feeling it. You people can go back and beg our leader. Of course he's a kind man. And we will obey whatever he say. Because nobody spoke up. Now, because of IPOB, a lot of miracle has happened. I said once again, I give it to them. I always say IPOB is the answer to my prayer. The message of truth to them is to remind them that the more they keep silent, this evil will grow. And the more this evil grows, the people will develop a defense mechanism and they will ask questions one day. Don't think it will always be like this. I can, I can assure you now that not everybody is waiting for that again. Nigerians listen and watch very closely. Nobody is calling to say, give us order now. Because the people's mindset have moved to another level. They have moved on. If you observe, you will know that for the past two, three months, nobody is calling the radio and say, give us another. Give us another. Because now, people of Biafra are beginning to develop self or defense mechanism. When you keep quiet, we'll be looking at you. We actually want to know your position. And we are knowing who you are. 
And when we see that the system we fought for, the system we bled for, the system we hoped on, the system we believed in, is not willing to defend us. We are human. And the beauty about every living thing is that when they are threatened, they develop a defense mechanism. And once that is done, once that is done, Yo ho ho yo ho ho yo ho yo ho ho anama jogodo anu mere unne yezure Don't make any mistake about it there is no politics there is no protocol there is no gentlemanity there is no all this bb grammar none of them will work we represent one thing let us go We are France in Biafra land the ball is in our court. Biafrans in Biafra land. This is the time you must stand strong. For we must surely separate the wheat from the chaff. Biafrans across the globe. There is a reason God kept you there. This revelation came the first day. I followed IPOB to march to protest in order to register our hot displeasure. They shot us. They killed our brothers and our sisters before our very eyes. And that very day, I see why all of you are scattered all over the world. And if you are yet to identify with IPOB, I don't know what to tell you. And of course, I know most of you are finding it difficult. You can send us your name, your phone number, and location on this studio WhatsApp line. Our mission has not changed. Our stand and position cannot be negotiated. We want to go home. And believe me, Bia France are going home. I'll be back in a minute.
Of course, at this moment, our line will be open. But before then, I want to remind us that our leader, Mazenande Okukano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, will be on a few hours from now to address Biafra. There is an emergency broadcast. Our leader, Mazenande Kano, will be on air on this very faithful day, the 12th day of the month of June at exactly 9 a.m. Biafra time. Our leader, Mazenande Kano, will be on air. So make sure you join him through Radio Biafra platform. Of course, this platform on Facebook, on tuning app, and other social media. In fact, on Twitter, on Instagram. Make sure wherever you can anchor, wherever you can join from, make sure you join them. My message simple this morning is stop suppressing the truth. It doesn't matter who you are. The truth cannot be substantiated. The truth cannot be compromised. The truth cannot be negotiated. The truth remains one and the only thing that makes money insufficient. Stop suppressing this truth. Because this truth will rise again. Like the sun. Our lines are open at this moment. Our WhatsApp line is 70 Zero seven zero eight one five four five six four two is our WhatsApp line. Our direct line is zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one. Zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one is our direct line. And the special number for the female is zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four. Zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four is a special number for the female yes a caller on whatsapp are you there yes good morning good morning from here Aganeku. go ahead please the word is listening good morning dear friends good mornings good morning all good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone I remember as in war yet in a doom, where care a ganeo. We come along kiss and kiss in kiss and kiss at on Katie Nan in Kiri, Nana Nemo, Biafra land. 
eji munzu na aka na ututa we na kpoku chukwu oku ka bia ma chukwu 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 oku ka bia ma kasa kasa eze bi ni igwa ze le mese lo kwa no to nyogwa na kitu oku mo ya ai sigba da ta no po chita ta ke bia go ze nzu aji na aka ka ima nzu aga mati hi akwa ku ma ya mati hi enwe ma ya moto ogoro ngondu ma ya mata aro edu ma na eke no ye na akwa na akwa na ha na no ai na po enu na na si abia enu bia to nzu na to nzu Eh, chonu wa ino tu no tu chonu wa Muhammadi ke chonu wa ni be chonu wa all the principal officer IPO be I say have their hands on over start our hair ke eh I say is mezu is mezu is mezu I need eh I follow kui be is mezu I follow kui be I say have their hands on over 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 their Israel oku kanu egwu oku nke mbu ai si bia ma unzu egwu oku nke ibo bia ma unzu eh ai si ezu mezu no na mbala oku kanu ai si ya bia ma unzu le ke ma unzu no ye ma unzu na fo ma unzu na ko no oku do bi kai na ayo ni isu mu ai ni ile kai do wevol we na atu kai je do ze bai awe na se zi chuko ka bia ma ai gba ka ni kai gbo na ma gba ke kai gbo na master no wa ya wo no da ya wo no ma ma kai na ye zo pupa ye zi mbata anye ma ma eh I have never told a cop, but I will not mama. Eh? I see you turn on the news. I know now. I know now. I know. I know you are not. 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 I know I say, no two walk up, come on, don't walk up, come on, we're going to No, you see, 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 maka na se ni sanu nu na nu ni sanu na ezi pata opuo awu na se na ezi chuku aka nsi aka aja ga ba hancha ni ni na onu ebe onu ha anu na we na ikechi ka odila anyi njo ai na se chuku ka bia ma bia me bi se hancha ni ni na eke no na apuna kwona ha na onu ni ebe ai ji ko ofo ai ji ko ogo e ha ogbo ofi onyi be you have said it all you have you said you hit you are hitting it at the at the head complete let me add my own let me add my own to my people, my brothers and sisters. All the atrocities committing on this planet, all the evil committing on this planet is against us. They are committing it against us, both white and the yellow and the black fellow blacks. They are just committing it against their friends. Nothing more, nothing less. The First World War, Second World War, this one they are fighting now is just to hold us down. If I tell you that coronavirus they 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 they, 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 they fabricate is just for them to make IPOB not to be gathering anymore, but they don't know that they that, that they don't know that it will it will hook it will hook it will hook, hook them. It will hook my brother. This grammar, eh? This grammar. And again, thread straight slave thread. I tell you this morning, dear friends, slave thread, missionary and colonization is the time they they instill and they downloaded the the racism and the head head thread and the killings that is the time they were installed it until we free ourselves it will not be over i'm telling you this morning until we free ourselves it can never be over unless we free ourselves then it will stop because as soon as we free ourselves our brothers and sisters all over this planet will come down and put things in place. Yes. And again, I want to I want you to use this as a as a as a program. Tell our people we will accept only five embassy in the Afra land, continent by continent. We owns nobody any apology about that. That is our retaliation because the planet has they has shit on their brokers and is smelling them. It's smelling them, and it will smell them until infinity. And we have no, we have no apology at all in our diary. Yes, Ubindi, I'm, I'm, I stand here by Ubindi Che IPOB, Ubindi Che Nimo, Ubindi Che Biafra. 
nation wide. I stand with you all. Move on and do the needful because reverend fathers, reverend fathers and reverend sisters and the lodge and the knight and the Oboni people because our people think that the Oboni is some people that some people that that was not born in Biafra land thinking that the Oboni is our tradition. I'm telling you today that the Oboni is not our tradition. Oboni is evil. Oboni is evil. They are sucking blows of our people. We'll be of one to them. They, because of they belong to Oboni them. That's why they don't look, they don't look at our face that are crying. Mazonibe, let me stop here. Let others follow. Because if I continue talking, eh? If I continue talking, Thank I can never much. finish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go ahead. I'm with you. Our people must understand. It is taking too long and somebody need to speak up. Nigerians are suffering. Awosa are suffering. The level of damage done to the Awosa race is unimaginable. Nobody should think that we are, are, are not women. Nobody should think we pretend. The level of damage done to the Awosa it's unimaginable. A race that have more than 75% of their youth as imbecile. Do you think they have hope in the next 100 years with the present of Fulani? We have worked hard to see, make them feel the pain. They make us feel. But our leaders still insist we remain human. I will say this is your time. Save your generation. We don't really have the moral right to be fighting for you when we still need help, but yet we are doing that. I will say, save yourself. Yoruba, that 10% will not always be there. I swear. But Yorubas are for Kniza and I will do everywhere. Yoruba youth are suffering at least 50%. Save the next generation. In our leader's last broadcast, he talked about competition. Anywhere I find myself, I do competition. I don't drag for second. I want to be the best of the best of the best of anything that I can be. I don't drag for second. And I don't do that in the expense of anybody. Because if I had the capacity to be the best of what I can, why not go settling for less? If you can have a nation, a nation where people will respect you, a nation you can call your home, a nation where your integrity or sovereignty will be respected, why? Because of 10% endangering all of us. And of course, the next generation of Nigerian youth, they have been morally, mentally damaged already. We are curing them here. Call on the line. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Good morning. I don't know what is happening with your line. I can hardly hear you. Go ahead. Let's see if I can get you. I cannot hear you. The call seems very low. Try and call back. Call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Go ahead. Yeah. My name is... Uh... I am calling from Anambra State. I thank Chuko Kaviama for giving us uh, another brand new day today. Uh, I thank uh, our leader for what he has been doing for us. We cannot thank him enough. What about his deputy, Mazu uh, Chemofo? I thank everybody. I thank all the principal officers which is you and the other people, which I cannot remember their name. We are very happy because, because of what you people are doing for us. Uh, everybody is getting... And I want to use this uh, opportunity to, to please uh, call on my Nsuka people. I am from Suka. Please, I want Suka people, wherever you are, all over the world. I want us to, to, to stand up and join IPOB in order to defend our land because these people are in our doorstep. They are with us. 
So wherever you are, whether you are from Oba, from Obolo, from uh, Opi, from Enugwezike, uh, 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 many people of us, please let us join IPOB and defend our land because Nam the Khan is the only savior we have now. So it doesn't matter how you discriminate, it doesn't matter how you hate him, it doesn't matter what you do. Please, we are going home. That is all I can say. I am very, very happy. This is my second time of calling. Please. Thank you. All hail Biafra. Almost hail Biafra. Biafra, anywhere you are, you must understand. Those who say they are our leader, we will call you to account one day. We will call all of you to order and so whatever you do. Understand the day of reckoning is coming. Are you there? Good morning. The line? Morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Are you hearing me now? You are coming out loud and clear. Go ahead, please. Okay, good morning. My name is Gene. I'm calling from Enugu province of Biafra, and I want to say, make it clear what you call them. I bless you. Make it clear what bless our leader. My mother have fight his secret battles. My mother have fight our secret battles. Make it clear what you call them. I bless our deputy leader. Yeah, this morning you made me to remind. Uh, remember what our deputy leader always said. He said that that time that our leader is in Kuje, and that time that they came to his house in 2017 on September, he always assured us, he said, keep on keeping on, keep on keeping on. All those words are the words that are encouraging us. Keep on keeping on, don't give up. Keep on keeping on, don't give up. Many, many wanted us to give up. Many have encouraged us to give up. Many have fought with words. They have fought us with words. Eh, what are you doing? You want to go and die? Eh, if I die, let me die. That is no fear. We are not here to fight for what belongs to another person. He's only full of me that is fighting for what belongs to another person. He's only Yoruba that is fighting to get to get another person uh, ten percent to, to, to build their own place. We are not fighting for anybody's property. We are only asking Leave us alone. Let us manage our own property. And know what to do with our life. Stop killing us. Stop destroying us. Stop destroying our life. You see how all these are going to kill us. Now that Biafra is already being talked about in the international community, do you hear them saying about we're going to clean up, we're going to clean up, we're going to clean up um, on the second night of bridge, the second night of bridge. They can't like that bridge their brain. I thank Chuko Kazama for giving us our leader, Marcel Amtikano. Because if he has not given us our leader, Marcel Amtikano, who would have let us know all these secrets and tell us never to forget? We are not forgetful human beings. We always forget this, but. I be open. We are not forgetting anything. If you, if I can on my lottery game, can be. But this is me. I no choose it. That because our leader have told us everything. Our leader have told us everything. I, I, I really am so happy. We are not giving up, and we are not going to give up until Jaffa comes. All those people that want to put fear in us, all those people that want to. To put fear in our life individually, collectively, so that to we'll go down. They have seen that we are not that kind of people. Our leader have told them, we are not that kind of people. We are the different species. We are not giving up. And yet they give up in what belongs to us. So, we are not giving up. We are not going down. We are not, We will keep on keeping on that word that gives us strength. Whenever we are going, wherever we are going, where, whatever, no matter what, we are not giving up. Let them know. Let all the supporters in their land know. Let all of them. 
They say that the that the, the, the reason why they are not fighting for our rights in, in, in federal government of the zoo is because they are always uh, making laws on majority that they always feel. If you are a professor, you are free. I say, why don't you resign and tell us? Yes, as a professor, as a learned individual, I'm resigning from this my position because these people refuse me to fight for your rights. So why don't you do that? But they are not doing it because they don't want to to be pointed at. They don't want fight on that to come to their house as he comes to our leaders' house. They don't want to stand to stand for their people. They want to meander, 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 and get their own and went home. Let us wait and see much. what our leader will say this morning. And now we will address us. Thank you. Thank you. Our God is faithful, and this is one thing we know. Are you the caller on the line? Marcy, good morning, sir. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Marcy, this is Mwajan and Miss Cran calling you precisely from your watcher. Marcy, I will take you off from your topic because there is one thing that is making me angry. Let's assume now I'm asking you a question. Just ask me, then I'll disconnect. Let's assume finally the fourth ninja, the fourth ninja, the fifth, and the hundredth ninja breed is dealt. Let's assume that Ogumi land has been revived and has been cleaned. Let's assume that all local houses in all the Afro land has been put together to begin to work again for the benefit of reducing the you know level of homelessness that the youth have been facing here. Let's assume that life has been given to all consistently in the past season. Let's assume that we have all that social amenities that we had been expecting right from the creation of Zoo. So let's assume that heaven even fall down, that God said no, and we do not want this be afraid again. So what do you think? Do you still want to answer in Nigeria? That is the thing that is telling me. Why are people giving, giving in to this idiot? If you want to wash the land for us, you wash it, it is in your duty. You are eating our money, you are eating our resources. We don't even want to release this name called Nigeria from my flesh, from my blood. It's pending me to see people talking about cleaning this useless idiot. It, I don't get it. I go there. Sir, let these people know that we are leaving these people. We don't want to answer Nigeria. This is my only problem. I don't want to answer the name. Now, if you want to give me on, uh, 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 as in call me any other name, call it to me. But I don't want Nigeria again in my life. Let people understand this thing. We are not here for them to give us anything right again. It is too late and it is too, too, too late. We want to go and we want to go, sir. Thank you. I love Thank you. you. Yeah, we must continue. Call on the line. Your name and where are you calling from? Call on the line. Hello. Good, Good morning. morning, sir. Go Miss Mazen Yibe. Good morning. Okay. Sir. I am Nachiku Jim calling from uh, a boy in province. I really thank God for everything. By the special grace of Chuko Kikabiam, I am the coordinator of Amikaba Zone 1, Zone 2, Unit 4. And by his grace, the state finance. I really am not just happy this morning because you know you are when Satan's piercing to heart. Because I know I was not born before the war, but IPOB has really made me to understand what has been going on. I always keep on asking myself questions. But before I, I progress, I will not forget to greet our Supreme Leader, Mazen Nande Kanu, the Iroko of our time. He came one of a born province. And the Dugumu Koma, his deputy, Mazu Chemoifo, and also yourself, the, the lion of the Biafra. I greet all of you. I say, my Chuko Kika Biama, keep and protect all of you in Yahweh Yeshua name. Uh, like as you said this morning, I keep on always asking myself questions, meditating all the time. At times I will cry within myself. Why is it that our people are not reasoning? Why is it that they are not hearing? If 
if people that does not have any inheritance in our land will be coming to drag it with the two hands why is it that our own people will be dragging behind doing as if they are afraid what is it is it that all our governors are not doing what they're supposed to do what is it that all the northern governors up under the they, they was serving terrorist group we are groomed by them if you reason it very well now you will find out that that of boko haram is declining they have baptized it and given it a different name again all they are sacking and killing and maiming of people there they no more mention boko haram again they are not integrating them into uh, the zoo army they are using a different name now to be killing and maiming people there and they never come out for any day to to, to discredit what they are doing or even to prescribe them or even to get them arrested but if you watch it you will find out that all our youth are in different prison custodies because Georgia the whole flag and they demonstrated and there's no any other evil they committed and then our own fathers our own governors will be the one that will come out to face to prescribe IPOB people that would have stood at the gap so they didn't keep on beating my imagination. What actually is going on? What is wrong with these people? Why are they doing what they are doing? What is it that thing they are gaining from it? So you want to gain the whole world and your soul will be perished. You want to get all your children killed so that only you will continue to be on the throne. What is it they think they are gaining from it? What kind of oath do they have taken with the Fulanese that will make them their hands to be tied, not to help their people and rescue their people? And the one that even gets me pissed off is that some of us that call ourselves IPOB members, some of them are still working for the devil. But their own is not much bothering me because they know the consequences and the repercussions they will get on the last day. So at times, at times, I don't know, I don't know whether they are not seeing, are they not seeing, are they not seeing the handwriting on the wall? You people have been hammering this, crying, our leader has been shouting, 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 they thought that it's not happening. But now they are seeing it and knowing that all the things that he has ever said that have come to pass and he's still saying it. Are they not seeing, they keep on saying Bugari, 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 so they cannot see and notice that the person in the actual rock is no more are they blind? Is their conscience blind? Can't they see what is going on? And they think always baffles me seeing an intellectual, somebody that is educated, coming to talk that uh, our president, our president, he will mention the name of Nate Bugari that is already rotten in the shallow grave in Saudi Arabia. I don't just understand. But I know my hope and my faith is that whenever you people encourage us like this, and more especially you, when you talk finish, I will see my energy and the strength in general fighting again because i know when that flag will be raised because i know biafra is already restored but when that flag will be raised i will not know where they will hide their face and i don't know where i will not know where they will go to because they still have in mind the thinking that is not going to happen and that always reminds me this song that always makes me happy that we normally think that Oge me have um nanya, oge me have um nanya, baby a frage we wrong way ya, oge me have um nanya. Because I know many of them are still doubting, doubting Thomas. It happened during the time of Noah, it even happened during the time of Christ himself. I know those that are still doubting, waiting to see what will happen. Why? Do, how do you think that that young boy will be able to to restore that? Some of them even keep on asking some uh, uh, questions. Are you sure that you people have what it takes? Where is the uh, uh, gun that you people have that you we use to defend the country? As you people are praying for war, we are not praying for war. War. We are praying to restore our own land. But those that brought war into our land, I know. With very much assurance that whatever they are looking for, we take all of them up. Nothing is going to, have to happen to us because Chipotle Kabiama is by on our side. 
I do tell them that even if we have the whole ammunition of the whole world, nobody is going to show it to anybody. Those that have it know where they keep it, and they are going to do it. During the time of Israelites, God himself came down and fought for them, so he will still come these days to fight for us because we are children of Chikokita Dam. And what happened before will happen in our own regime, so that history will still record our own name as we read in children of Israelites in the Bible now. Time shall come, then we read our own story as well. So I'm um, just encouraging all of us, those of us that are in APOD, doing the right thing, continue doing it. Don't turn back, don't change your mind, because I know what we are fighting for is already at hand. Anybody that is doubting it or doing the opposite is on his own. On the last day, Abachos and Guamayans, everybody is going to receive his own reward based on what he or she did during the period of the struggle and the period of uh, pains and agony. So I encourage all of us and still thank you and uh, our Supreme Leader as you said he is going to come online today. We are already always waiting for because this is where I worship I listen to Radio 2 for. So there's no any other thing happening outside that concerns me apart from what happens to our people and to us. And I know Biafra is already restored and all of us will be alive to receive the reward of the works that we did. And so shall it be in Chico Kikadama's name. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. And that is the voice of one of our formidable female coordinator from my born state. Of course, we must continue. Kola and WhatsApp, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Good morning from here. Good morning. Good, morning. good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to all the Biafrans in Biafra land. My name is Onye Dukachi Ejase. Uh, I am from Ifite in Orumba province, Biafra land. And I am living here in Noyu Ogum, Germany. Maazi George Onye, I thank you for your beautiful work. And I thank our leader, Maze Namo de Kano, Ago Kago, one of Biafra land. Maze Jojo Nibe, before I uh, go, go ahead to my topic, I want to say one thing to Biafrans. Biafrans, please, I want to put it as a song. Onye na ma homo ya, otabuolo nwe ya na fofo, onye na ma hundichie ya. Biafrans, first of all, you have to recognize your ancestors so that things will be well for you. You have to recognize your ancestors so that you will you will live life like a kings and queens. That is first thing. May God bless you. And then Mazoni. There is no two words about it. If you like, let them uh, 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 build the river Niger to 20 million times. So, uh, we don't need any. What we need is that our name, Biafran land. And then we will build our land the way we want it. And let me say one thing again. All these saboteurs, all these people that are, uh, they, they call themselves elite. <laughs> The day of the reward, because if you do good, you will receive your good reward. When you do evil, you will receive. There is nothing like forgiveness in my mind. We have suffered. Our people are dying in desert, dying in river. I was, in fact, I am one of the victims. If not, I was, uh, me and my one person was the only survivor. The day I, I, I made it to cross the Europe here, 2014. There is someone like me, there's nothing like forgiveness. If I will, if I find, if I find myself in Nigeria, in, in Biafra military, the way I will do, I will, I will use knife, I will, there will be a life of sharing them alive. That is my own judgment. That is what I will do to them. There is nothing like, there is nothing like, uh, oh, you should, you should forgive. Forgiveness is not in, forgiveness is a thing. The, the whole country that I prosper, they don't forgive. But you, when you do good, you face your good. When you do bad, you face your bad. That is not your neighbor. You see, the world are protesting. They are talking about world politics. They don't know what is world politics. All these corona things we are manufactured to keep the upper and whole state. All this corona, all these things, corona. Okay, look at the way they were protesting everywhere in this world. Everywhere in this world, about one person killed in America. How many millions? How many thousands? 
you die and you come and every blessed day. Who, who, who are there protection about But the, in, in, in home today, in, in Germany, in home, on, on, on Saturday, we will protest it. I am one man, I look around with my flag here in the world, oh my God, I'm home here in Germany. All of them know me. I will go there, I will tell them, I will tell them the day that their father was born. I, I will go there and tell I'm proud of this flag. I sleep and wake up with this flag. I will, I, I will destroy. I will speak. When I speak, finish, let them come for me. Master the people. May God bless you, Master George. Thank nothing you. Nothing do you. And there is nothing they will do. We must continue. Caller on the line. Your name and where are you calling from? Monitoring spirits. Good morning from here. My friends all over the world. First Chronicle. First Chronicle chapter 23. Study it very well. Every verse, very, very important. First Chronicle chapter 24. Then you go to Jeremiah chapter 29. Chapter and Jeremiah chapter 31. And that's that the one, but South Sea and 26 and 27 is very, very important. Anybody, anybody who do not be at the back of our leader from today, so that today is the second of the 50 days, so it's 35, we are not of any one of the rules of the On your name, it's there, it's in blue. And if you think that you have not come to talk to you, come to talk to you, you are in Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we lost that caller. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Yes, my brother. Good morning from here. Go my ahead. angelic brother, my George Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Notwithstanding your time zone, I remain your humble brother, Mazi Ekuruke, calling from Iguacha province. I appreciate you, Kukikabiyama, for what is using all of you in this great platform to do to propagate the everlasting gospel which are being revealed in the book which the british called the bible uh, my angelic brother african rep mazi george Unibe, uh, uh, i just want to call because i don't know you know i don't call because in your platform that is where i eat my spiritual food but i just want to call to sing to simple song which all of us have been singing, then I will hands off. Iyane maybe ye mo, onyane na chora jabo ke mo. Iyane maybe ye mo, onyane na chora jabo ke mo. Onya pala wa gha kanoto, mo dento, mo wana mo. Onya pala wa gha kanoto, mo dento, mo wana mo. Chuko Kikabia, my bless Biafra. Mazoni, be God bless you, my angelic brother. Goodbye. Thank you very but much. For now. Thank you. Our uh, people must understand. You are busy telling us you are in the position of power. You are representing us. You are, they don't respect you. You are this one and you are that one. But you have certainly forgotten your duties and your responsibilities. Biafran politicians. It doesn't matter whether you are river line, but on line, on top of land, the line of line, Niger Delta, Delta Niger. We just simply ask you a question. Are you a voice to your people? All those of you positioning yourself, I'm barrister, I'm intellectual, I am professor. Is your voice meant for your people? You are holy man of God, Shabbatarian, Orobotarian, St. Bottle and Kai Kai, anyone you belong to. Are you a voice to your people? The oppressed people. Yes, I'm Iguenala. I'm Ojigiri Gawan. I'm Ayamayanabo. Are you a voice to your people? The Yoruba have their voice. 
They also have their voices. The Fulani have theirs. Where are you, O oh intellectual, O oh leaders of thought, O oh holy men and women of God? Where are you, O oh ye opinion molders, captains of industry, so on and so forth? Every glorify or dignify name you have given to yourself, where is your voice? We will hold you account to it one day and very soon. You think Fulani is our problem? You think those people raping and killing are our problem? If you fail to give, lend your voice to the weak, to the oppressed, if you fail to give your voice to those who need it, one day they will speak for themselves. And those of you who are in the position of speaking on behalf of the people, be careful what you say. Because one day we will hold all of you to your words. Before I sign up from this segment, I'll take one more call. But before then, be informed. Be informed. Onyeno Ogwaibe, our leader, will be on air. It's an emergency broadcast. He will be on air at exactly 9 a.m. Biafra time. Here on Radio Biafra, of course, you can join him through his Facebook page. Radio Biafra Simple app. Listen through your FM, Instagram, Twitter. We are everywhere. And this is the voice that speaks for the voiceless. We have asked for only one thing and one thing alone. And that is Biafra Freedom. Yes, call on WhatsApp your name and where are you calling from? Hello, what's up? This is calling you from Abba. Go ahead, please. Uh, good morning. Yeah, I'm calling you from Abba, Shabbat Allah, Biafra. Unstoppable libes, you see, remain the, in the, uh, the, IPOB member. I am from indig I am indigenous of uh, Idemabam. Idemabam is in Arochuku. Arochuku is in Biafra land. Chuko uh, Kikabiama, bless you, my own brother. You are doing a wonderful job. You are doing the needful. Uh, we are doing the needful also to restore our land. We are, there is no going back. Whether they like it or not, we must restore Biafra. My dear brother, what you are saying this time is true. Our opinion leaders, intellectuals, elite, and also call them, they are calling them. They have betrayed us. That's why no, none, none of them is talking. None of them, we are hearing their voice. Why? Because they have betrayed us. They have sold us out. They have taken money on behalf of us. So they are watching us, watching them to kill us, to wipe us away, for them to be an, the owner of our land for them to be a leader of full and his men that the the law of karma we capture all of them my brother we are not relenting we are not going back my deputy leader used to say that we are seven steps ahead of them ahead of the zoo we are going here ahead ahead no matter what they do we must restore biafra we are not going back i will use this media to call our brothers i used to shout all the time if I call in the uh, on separate call, I will call a uh, general call. I will still call and lament him. Even right now, my senior brother don't used to pick my call. The reason why I used to call them is this: our brothers who are outside country, the word of Mazen Nandikano Okukano is real. He has said it before. He has said it again. You people in diaspora, thinking that uh, you are there, are last and nothing is happening to you. That we in the Biafra land, we should die. None of you should remember your brother or should remember what they are, we are doing. You people should find a Join Biafra Restoration. Join Biafra Restoration. All you people from Ohafia, from Idimabam. I am indigenous of Idimabam. You people should uh, find an IPOB and join. For the restoration of Biafra, why? Because when the time comes, if we restore Biafra, you will be begging for you to come back home. There will not be way. You will say that eh, they will begin to lament. Now there is time for you to not lament. Find Biafra, find IPOB and join for we to restore this land. We are not relenting. If it is that, we will die here and make sure that we restore Biafra. Our children will not fight this fight we are fighting. 
we will fight this fight and fight it to the last and restore this Biafra for our children. We are not relenting. Those who are claiming for us to go and fight and bring the Biafra for them, for them to come and enjoy, for them to come and to be an elite. Ah, <laughs> we are watching you. And we will see where it will land you. My brother, we are not relenting. We are moving ahead to restore our, our fatherland. Our motherland will be restored. All I know that come rain, come shine. I still stay on my word because this is what we are we, we are pursuing. Almost help Biafra. Thank you, Thank you very much. This is where we draw the curtain for this morning segment. Once again, do not forget that exactly 9 a.m. our leader will be on air. Everybody must understand one undeniable, undisputable fact and truth. The sacrifice of our fallen heroes will never be in vain. Goodbye from here and do have a wonderful day ahead of you.
surrender. 